Let's write a C program to find sum of all the odd numbers between user entered range. If the user enters start value as 14 and end value as 23, our program finds all the odd numbers between 14 and 23 and then calculates the sum of all these odd numbers and displays the result onto the console window. In this case, the result is 95. Okay, so let's write the C program. I'll take a couple of integer variables, start and end for the range. Attempt to swap between start and end in case start value is greater than end value. Count is for loop counter. Sum will hold the sum of all the odd numbers between the range. We assign zero to it to avoid garbage value collection. So I'll ask the user to enter the start and end value and store it inside the address of integer variables start and end. Next we check if start value is greater than that of the end value. In that case, we swap the values present inside variables start and end. So we'll be using temporary variable. I'll assign start value to temp and end value to start and then temp value to end. So this swaps the values present inside variables start and end. Okay. So this is the logic to swapping two numbers. Okay, now I'll display the odd numbers, the odd numbers from percentage %d to percentage %dr. So start value is present inside variable start and end value is present inside the variable end. Now let me write the for loop. For, we initialize count to start. We iterate this for loop until count is less than or equal to end value. For each iteration of this for loop, we increment the value of count by one. So now, if the value of count modulo division 2 is not equal to 0 in that case the value present inside count is an odd number so let me print that out to the console window so percentage d slash n count so this logic prints all the odd numbers between user entered range let's check that out i'll give 2 and 10 so it prints all the odd numbers between 2 and 10 okay 3 5 7 and 9 are the odd numbers between 2 and 10 so let me also calculate the sum of all the odd numbers between the range. So I'll paste this here. In the next line, I'll write sum is equal to previous value of sum plus value present inside count. So after completion of this for loop, the variable sum will have sum of all the odd numbers between the user entered range. So sum of all the odd numbers from percentage %d to percentage %d is percentage %d. So the variables are start, end, and sum. So that's it. So let me compile this program once again and run it. I'll give 5 and 14 as the range. So it prints all the odd numbers between 5 and 14. So the sum of all these numbers is 45. So let me give bigger number first now, 23 and maybe 14. So it will print all the odd numbers from 14 to 23. Some of all these odd numbers is 95. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.